It's a regular day at my lovely job as an editor. I'm writing an article about trainers, I'm interviewing influencers for the magazine, I'm having a lot of fun with my colleagues. Sometimes I'd pull pranks on them, other times they'd drive me crazy or even put a smile on my face. I was having a good time. As a writer and as a person, I was growing. Little did I know, my corporate person's growth was about to be put on hold. We were fired from one day to the next, so I went to pick up all my remaining stuff from my desk. I was not going to waste my peanut butter, nor that precious bottle of olive oil from Lidl. The guy sitting in the back, Sam, was my editorial lead. Awesome guy, I really miss working with him. On my way back home, I figured I was going to prepare a nice little Greek salad with that olive oil I just got back. But once I got home, I was craving something more comforting. So I met with another friend of mine that got fired, Hugo, and after a couple of drinks, we decided the time was right for a little escape. If like me, you have never been to Bangkok, um, <laughs> it's crazy and can be overwhelming. Everything is big, fast, packed with people, the stations, the trains, the streets, the energy is intense. The first night, uh, we stayed in an area that turned out to be in the red light district of Bangkok and if in terms of what you could get to see there it's visually stunning, I could have done without the rude and drunk tourists yelling in the streets every night. Good thing Bangkok has a very reliable, clean and fast public transport service, so it's easy to escape the madness in less than half an hour. As soon as you exit the metro station, you most likely always have some vendors selling food, accessories, some good and some less good clothes. Okay. Hugo decided to go for some crocs. Yes, we decided to go to a pet coffee. Why not? Hugo was immediately in the zone and most doggies wanted to play with him all the time. Some were a little more clingy than others and the ones that he wanted ignored him. <laughs> I loved that little guy. The time was right for us to move on and find some real human connections. Have you ever tried to type in human connections in the research bar in maps? I haven't, but somehow we managed to find some real human connections thanks to popcorn. <laughs> we were invited to join some cool locals at their table and they made sure we had a good night. We were offered the best food, local drinks whose name I can't remember right now, stories and even free lessons of Thai. And this lovely lady who owns the restaurant refused that we pay for anything. They ended up taking us to the other side of the city where someone they knew was hosting a little party. And that was the first of a series of crazy Bangkok party nights. And for the next couple of days, our life became partying and eating. More partying and more eating. The parties were good, and so was the food. The pad thais, the omelettes, the pancakes, the sausages, the ham, the chicken. We ate all the delicious dishes. Even the more spicy ones that we ended up regretting sometimes. Even though the parties were really good, it started to have an impact on what we were also here for, exploring the city during the day. Because when you come home late every night, well, you're missing out most of the day, obviously. So we decided to stop partying for a bit, and of course, then it was raining every day. So we took it slow to gather some energy for the upcoming urban exploration adventures and chilled. After getting some rest, we decided to follow some of the locals' recommendations and explore the city by using the subway. And it was hot, humid, and I felt very good that day. Can you tell? We ended up walking a lot too once we exited the train. 
crois que je suis au bout de ma vie. We got lost plenty of times and I believe at one point we ended up walking on a highway. It makes for good stories to tell if you make it out alive I suppose, but don't do it. But no matter how we got anywhere, we always had a good time. We traveled a lot by train too. Obviously not the Oriental Express. We wanted the real experience. How original, right? Tourists that want to experience what it's like to live like a local. <laughs> I often ask myself what people think when I happen to record a scene with them in it. Do they wonder what I'm going to do with the footage? Do they think it's disrespectful? And I should have asked. I wonder what that guy in the orange shirt thought when he saw me. If you're that man in the video, let me know what you thought. I just thought it's a pretty scene and you look cool. Another way to travel Bangkok instead of riding the bus is jumping on one of those boats. They are slower than a tuk-tuk. But a nice experience and I believe they are cheap too. Speaking of tuk-tuks, to me they are the best way to go from point A to point B in the city. Bangkok is full of entertaining things to do and you have a bunch of artistic installations spread all around the different neighborhoods. That day we decided to go and visit Cheng Chui. It's a creative hotspot, art space with galleries, cool restaurants, bars and a couple of other things to see. But for some reason it seemed pretty empty the day we decided to get there. So we decided to go to a night uh, market called Train Night Market Rachata. It's huge, the vibe is nice and I love that barbershop. Look at it, it's, it's so cool. Since we had not been to Siam yet and heard that that's where the cool people hang out, we wanted to try to go there and enjoy uh, an exhibition by Sir John Cornella. Unfortunately, as we got there, we realized the exhibition had closed the day before, so we just walked around the area, had the singer, enjoyed some live music, and found a market where alternative art was being sold by some local creatives. As we explored this incredible city that Bangkok is, we also found some parts that we thought were a little weird. A little too weird, actually. And I don't know, I guess it was just time for us to move on, explore other parts of the country and discover something less intense.